today I'm going to show you how to make one of these really useful microwave bowl cozies. Now this isn't, you know, every, every, lots of people are showing you how to make these bowl cozies uh, for the microwave, but not all of them can go in the microwave. This one can. So to make it able to go in the microwave, everything has to be 100% cotton. If it's got polyester in, it can catch fire. So it's a hundred percent cotton fabric inside and out, a hundred percent wadding and a and a hundred percent cotton thread to sew it with. And then that makes it microwavable for approximately two minutes at one time. And they're absolutely brilliant. They are, you, they make perfect gifts as well. You could do a set of these and you could put your apple crumble and custard in there and pop it in the microwave no more burnt fingers or your bowl of soup or whatever and then just pull it out like that so it's straight in your hand and no heat and no washable and not only that it's reversible so it's absolutely perfect so i'm going to show you anyway how to start now you can just at random just the the average size is a 10 inch and that's because people like to use the 10 inch layer cake squares because they're already pre-cut and i have done quite a few of the 10 inch square ones which is is these but i'm going to show you how to make one to fit your bowl now this bowl i've measured from rim all the way around to rim and it's eight inches so we're going to do a nine inch square so what you need is two pieces of fabric and if you're going to make them microwave safe then they need to be 100 percent cotton like i said you don't have to make it so that they can go in the microwave but this is for this project so two pieces of nine inch squares mine are and then two pieces of wadding and they're about eight and a half inch just just short of the edge it just stops any bulk and what you're going to do is you're going to measure a cross from point to point so you've got a cross like that and stitch it so there you go both both of them are done so you'll end up with two pieces like that so then the next thing you do is you take the one of the pieces and you fold it in half like so and match up the corners of the fabric not the wadding the, the f actual fabric and then the folded side take your ruler let's get rid of that and you're going to measure from the fabric one and a half inches along the fold and put a mark and then one inch down from the fold and put a mark and then just do a line and do exactly the same one and a half inches uh, one inch down the side and one and a half inches across the top and match up that line so it's like that so now you're going to go ahead and you're going to stitch this line and then you're going to trim it so that there's no no bulk go as near to stitches as you can okay don't forget to double stitch here on on each of the ends right so then you'll end up with a piece like that so it's already stitched and i've already cut it off okay and it looks like that so now you're going to fold this the other way around so you'll match up those darts and match up corner to corner of the fabric you can put a pin in clip it whatever and then you're going to go onto the fold and do exactly the same so one and a half inches across the fold and one inch down the side and match them up 
and the same this side one and a half inches and an inch and match those up so now you're going to go ahead and stitch both of these and trim them again so it looks like the first two that you've done so then you end up with a piece like that you see so it's already taken shape now both of your pieces that you started off with you're doing both exactly the same okay so that's one piece of it and this is the second piece that I've done exactly the same so now take the one piece so it's got the face the proper fabric faced inwards like that and this one is faced outwards so it's right sides of fabric together and drop it inside it doesn't matter which way you go which color you put into which and then you're going to match up all the corners all the sides peg it pin it whatever and stitch all the way around and leave a gap of about two inches along one of these sides but don't go to the ends and don't go to the middle because it's harder to to top stitch after so just leave that gap and then with with a quarter of an inch seam all the way around you can then you can trim it and then when you've done that turn it the right way round pull it all the way through and you'll end up like that and then all you've got to do is top stitch the outside all the way around tuck in that open piece and seal it shut with the top stitch and that is it that's it job done so there's your your bowl cozy and you sit your bowl in and it's perfectly fitted to this particular size bowl and you can do these any size you like just you know if you've got a particular bowl you want to choose you can do it I've done a bigger one here this takes a 12 inch dish but this is my main serving dish and I, I usually put vegetables in this big serving dish and it keeps the vegetables nice and warm on the table so it doesn't necessarily go in the microwave itself but it does it's like a warming cozy so absolutely brilliant they are and you can actually you know that if the dishes have just come out of the oven you can pop them in there and hold them by the ends and you keep your fingers safe and that's it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and get busy making these cozies because they make great gifts for everybody and everybody loves them okay bye and oh and if you needed any 100% wadding i've got a seller in the shop i sell 100% cotton sell 100% thread so visit deanyfabrics.co.uk